Hi all, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about the just released MMO PAX Day. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this game in under three minutes. If you like these short overviews with all crucial information about games, please consider liking and subscribing. I do tons of these and also take requests. PAX Day is a social sandbox MMO that just released on Steam for $39.99. Part of the controversy around this game is that the developer stated they might change the business model and also add a subscription. I might not play it anymore after 2050 hours anyway, so I didn't mind that much. But I can understand if you decide not to jump in yet until there is clarity around that fact. Please don't dislike because of that. I'm just the messenger. What Social Sandbox MMO means is that you are basically put into an empty world that you will build up with the other players, and especially the economy, is entirely player-driven. So there are no weapon and armour drops, like in MMOs such as World of Warcraft. Instead, you make the weapons and armour, but they can also break again. Because of that, there is a certain value attached to them. Currently, trading is not in the game, and it's more the chill building and exploring game loop. But eventually, when they add trading, you can even start running your own shop. It's very comparable to a game like Albion Online, which I do not play because of the need for a subscription, which doesn't seem to be the case with this one. Or am I wrong on Albion? Have any of you played that recently? I would love to know if I should give it another shot. The game is a bit of a mix between PvP and PvE. There are PvP zones where you are contesting with other players, but the places where you build a house are PvE. If I would grab another comparison, it's a survival game, but without the survival elements and with a much deeper crafting and trading system. That is the easiest way I can explain PAX Day. As you see on my screen, it's currently a lag fest. I'll keep trying, but I figured I'd get at least the basic information out there and the fact that it is a lag fest. But that's not uncommon for MMO launches. To close this off, I hope this was a clear explanation of what a social sandbox MMO is, and specifically PAX Day. Because these games are quite niche and unique, if you are planning to play, let me know in the comments. Before you actually buy, make sure you check out their roadmap so you know what is and isn't in the game already since it's early access. That was it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.